Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we are going to talk about how to design slab using the strip method. Okay? In this, uh, in this tutorial I will use only strip method. I will do not consider uh, the finite element method here. Okay? So, this is the structure. I have uh, given and uh, specified other specifications as well okay for column beams and uh, material and cross section for beam columns and shear walls also uh, the materials for slabs and uh, other structural elements okay so now i want to design uh, the slab okay using strip method okay so this is uh, G plus uh, uh, four story structure. Okay. So this we have a total uh, five story. Okay. So let us design for the first one. After that we can just replicate uh, to the other stories or to the other floor as well. Okay. So. I will go here to the edit after that I will go to the add edit design strip add design strips okay I will click here this window will pop up after that I will select T1 and I want to design the strips for story 1 okay this time after that I will select this one and I will tick mark the enclosed middle strip okay I will uh, specify the grid system to be this one G1 okay and the grid directions will be X and the strip layer will be A okay so at the moment I will use automatic okay other than the fixed one so after that I will click apply and okay so look here the strips for x direction has been applied okay again I will go to the same location I will select add design strips I will this time for the same story I will this time I will use the same grid system and this time for y direction okay and the strip width will be B okay now apply okay okay so we have applied the strips for X and Y directions for the first story okay look here it is the first story now I will just copy or replicate the same strips to the other stories okay so you can go here if you don't want to see the width for strip you will uncheck this one show width so you will just see here as a line now I will go here select and I will just select the strip select go here object type here I will just select strip layer A look here I will select this one as well okay so you just highlight both and press select okay the layers in both direction has been selected after that you can just press ctrl R okay or otherwise you just go here edit and just replicate okay replicate this one and see I will just make another window as well so this is the first story the strips has been selected in both layers and after that I will select to be replicated for uh, for the story too so look here when I just bring the my cursor here near to the apply it has been shown here okay 
apply to the second story okay and okay we will just look here this is story one i will go up see this is story two the same strips for for story two of this club has been applied okay now again i want to select previous selection back get previous selection okay the strips has been selected so i will just press or go to the edit after that i will select replicate and story this time for story 3 4 and 5 okay after that i will select apply okay so now the strips for whole structure has been applied if you want to to look it clearly you just go here and select show width okay apply so you just go up and down you will see the strips very clearly okay I will just go for analyzations after that we will look further information about slabs okay I will just click here to run analysis so the analyzation process has been started okay it will just take a little bit time so shortly we will see that is results basis to be strip based other than the finite element based okay so I want to see the river location at the top okay I will then just unclick or uncheck another one the bottom one okay apply see the reinforcement uh, intensity okay for top river okay just look for another river as well the red one is in the bottom river and the yellow one is at the top river okay so here the reinforcement display type should uh, will be show river intensity by unit width or unit meter or one meter okay this time see like here look here to this value this is 130 okay it eat the different uh, reinforcement area has been displayed okay or you can you can just choose the total uh, re 
Bar area for strips. Okay, so this is the according to the area of the strips or ray bars. Okay, or show the number of uh, bar size. Like I can just choose the G bar sizes after that apply. Look here, 14, 2, 10, 3, 10. Okay, this is uh, for top and bottom. Bottom. Your preferences you can just change the bar size as well okay so this is for a single layer or you can you can just check this one for another layer or layer B as well okay I will uncheck and click this one this is for layer B okay say look to the reinforcement area okay Look here, millimeter square by meter for layer B. Okay, this is for another layer. Okay, so this is like all the information in this lab design has been given. You can adjust according to your preferences. Okay, so. upon the uh, finite element method okay just here to the whole building for each and every slab has been shown according to the finite element method okay but I want to be working strip method is indicated or displayed here when you do not use the strip method this option will not be seen here okay like here you just choose the load case for earthquake or dead load live load and others after that you can apply okay you will see the results or you, you can use the load combination or combo okay we have different uh, combination Detailing purpose 
always give us a software which is called uh, CSI Detailing. Okay, this software. Okay, I will just export this details uh, file to the CSI Detailing. Then I will get the information and detailing about slots, beams, columns, shear bolts, and etc. If you want to to understand about the detailing of the structures, please watch a lecture which link is in the description so you will get more information about detailing okay thank you so much from your uh, attention i hope this lecture will help you okay institution bye bye